Tonight, a Kansas City Councilman makes his first public statement about a brewing controversy surrounding $15,000 of missing taxpayer funds. Investigator Ryan Kath has been tracking this story for seven months. Today, he asked the elected official about your money. Kansas City Councilman Michael Brooks said he was breaking his silence about a controversial $15,000 payment of your taxpayer dollars. And he chose to do that here during a live radio broadcast, but he didn't reveal any new details and he wouldn't answer our questions. Councilman, will you take a couple minutes just to answer a few questions? Councilman Brooks remained silent as he walked from the radio studio to his car. An hour earlier, he'd arrived for his first public comment about this $15,000 check. Taxpayer money that was supposed to help bring championship boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. to town. The check was cashed and spent by Osco Bolton, the leader of a youth anti violence group called Posse. But the Mayweather event never happened. Osco Bolton is a young man that has done some excellent, excellent work in this city, has done some excellent work for challenged youth in our city, and his track record uh, speaks for itself. Councilman Brooks requested the funds directly from city manager Troy Schulte. A police investigation obtained by 41 Action News shows despite admitting the details had not been worked out, Brooks asked Schulte to expedite the payment in October. The twist and the lie to the story is that I used my influence to twist Troy Schulte's arm uh, to make him give us $15,000, which was just totally a blatant lie. The rules for similar funding requests have since changed at City Hall, but Brooks said at the time it was standard operating procedure. Do you want to know what happened to the money? Uh, I'm finished. Sir. Brooks told us he couldn't answer our questions in December because of the ongoing investigation, and six months later is apparently still not ready to talk. Taxpayers have a lot of questions about this. Don't they deserve some answers? Not everyone was just listening to the radio, Councilman. Councilman, why won't you talk about this? Are you scared about what we'll ask? As we were the first to tell you, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office declined to file charges after a lengthy Kansas City police fraud investigation. However, City Hall is still weighing its options and whether or not it will file a civil lawsuit to get that $15,000 back. In South Kansas City, I'm Investigator Ryan Kath, 41 Action News.